everyone, Amber here. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for stopping by today. In this video, I'm going to just do a quick project share of this mini album I created using the new Bloom Street collection from Paige Evans and Pink Paisley. And also I made this using some of Paige's cut files. So I will leave those linked down below so that you can check everything out for yourself. And yeah, I made this for my Easter album. I know it's a bit in advance, but I like to plan ahead. And now on that day, I can enjoy the holiday. And then that night or the next day, just print out all my photos and add them to the pages. So this is an envelope mini here on the spine. I added some elastic in pink and purple to attach my pages. And I also added some of these really adorable flower charms. They are so so cute. I love them. I want a million of them. <laughs> Here on the cover, I added this three-dimensional flower, which I made using one of Paige's cut files. It came with leaves too, so of course I printed, not printed, cut. I cut those out in green, and then I just made the flower pink and purple to match the base of the mini. So for that, I used the beautiful transparency sheet, which has these purple and pink florals printed on it. And it also has some really cute iridescent polka dots, which gives it this nice kind of shimmery shine to it. And to also decorate up the base, I used this purple strip of paper and just stitched it all along the length of the album base. So to decorate this up some more, I added some ephemera pieces and this cute butterfly. And when you open the album, I just used a Velcro dot to keep it closed. Um, since it is acetate, it kind of wants to just fold back in on itself. So you kind of got to hold it open <laughs> to look at everything. But for the front um, page, which they are envelopes, and to make them into pages, I just uh, zigzag stitched with my sewing machine along the length of two envelopes while holding them together and then that stitch them together but it also lets them fold over so for the front of this one i just left it blank so it's not too crazy when the album is closed and then since the insides don't have too much room for embellishing i just kept it pretty simple but on the back here I went crazy with the embellishments and I absolutely love how it looks. So um, yeah, I just love the colors in this and all the characters and sentiments. It's so cute and so perfect for spring. I love the hummingbird. Here's some more of the insides. I just tried to keep it simple, but also cute. I did cut this envelope upside down, um, but it works. And the envelopes are all um, a cut file from Paige. I just cut eight different ones, stitched on them, and then stitched them together and decorated them. So super cute, super fun, and also I love that all the envelopes are exactly the same size. <laughs> Whenever I try to hand make envelopes, they always come out a little bit different. So um, I love all the bits of yellow in this. I think it's so pretty and so, so me. Here's some more of the inside pages of the envelopes and the backs. This is my favorite page or pages in this album. If I can even choose favorites, I just love it so much. I think it's just stands out, pops, and is so, so pretty. I also added some wood veneers from my stash throughout the album to kind of give it a rustic look. Here's some more of the inside pages and the last back here. I love that purple paper so much. It's so pretty. So that is the little mini album that I made. And I think it's so cute and will be perfect to document all of those Easter memories. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you want any more details on how I made this, it's up on Paige's blog. So I will leave that link down below so you can check it out. And it has all the measurements and everything that I used to make it. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you next time. Take care and happy crafting. Bye.